Gina Carano has divided Star Wars fans as much as The Last Jedi? How about new? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the channel. And man, you talk about desperate times, call for desperate measures from these weirdos that are just trying to rip Gina Carano down, that are just trying to, like, I don't know, just, just, uh, she's Cara Dune. Uh, Cara Dune has a role in the Mandalorian television show. She's not even in every episode. Not even in every episode. And look at this. Gina Carano has divided Star Wars fans as much as The Last Jedi. Look at that headline. There is nothing in this world when it comes to Star Wars as divisive as The Last Jedi. There is absolutely... You can't even compare. Of course, Disney might be saying, you know, hold my beer. I got something else coming. Um... And that's and that's the big issue now with even though people who enjoy the Mandalorian who likes what it's about, um, all roads lead to the last Jedi. That's the issue. All roads lead to the last Jedi. So you can make some of the greatest Star Wars ever. But at the end of the day, as long as that path takes you to Ryan Johnson's franchise killer and whatever you want to call it and what he did to Luke Skywalker. Whoa. I mean, listen to me. Listen to me while the screen is jumping. Um, that's because of the ads. But listen to me. Listen to me. You had actors from the movie come out and say how bad, you know, The Last Jedi was. You had Mark Hamill, you know, come out and say, that ain't even my character. That's Jake. I mean, you've had ce other celebrities. You've had voice actors from Lucasfilm. You've had other people come out and say, yeah. Last Jedi, ah, uh, you know, they come out it's, it, it, and over and over and over again. And now you want to say that Gina Carano is, is the same thing? Like, is that the best? That's the best we, that's the best you got. That's the best that you got. Um, I, I, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Uh, I, and if you're just watching this video, the Last Jedi's three year anniversary just happened, uh, this week. And that's probably why they're doing this, to get headlines. Put the Last Jedi tag. Put the Gina Carano tag. Ooh, let's see if more people read this. All right, well, I guess you got my attention. <laughs> well, it's just ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. The article goes on to say, man, it's probably because the backlash of The Last Jedi is why Ryan Johnson doesn't have his trilogy. You don't say. But then you post a picture of Gina Carano, like, you know, like, she's involved with that. And then... We come to the big controversy here. The big controversy, the fire Gina Carano hashtag that, that was like a few weeks back. It didn't work. It didn't work. And this is probably one of the main reasons I love The Mandalorian. Because it is making these weirdos just freak out. You know, not only Gina Carano. You know, but Bill Burr and other all these people that, that they just want canceled. They want to cancel all these people. Like, how dare you have them on the show? They're so bad. They're bad people. Fire them. Fire them. Fire them. And it's just like, it just, it's not working anymore. Your, your Twitter mob is not working. And this is the problem. Like, news outlets and everything. They take a couple of these tweets from these weirdos and say, oh, oh, no. Like, she's a bad. She's controversy. I'm telling you, nothing will ever compare to the last Jedi in the Star Wars community. This headline was absolutely ridiculous. And and here's how I know it didn't work. Because right here, Gina Carano is the second most popular celebrity on the IMDb page. She's number two. Let's get that number one. Let's get that number one. Let's tweet out some more things. Look at that. She's ahead of good old Pedro. <laughs> Number two, your campaign didn't work. Your hate mob, your articles, your everything didn't work. Congrats, Gina. She even tweeted this out. She said, my friend, 
Gee, you're number two on the IMDb star meter, even though Hollywood Press ran a whole smear campaign on you and you didn't do one interview. Congrats. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Uh, here's my response. Yeah, it's glorious. And then she responds to me. Uh, multi-pass. Multi-pass them haters, man. Multi-pass them haters. Multi-pass them haters, man. Anyway, so there it is. Uh, again, Gina wins. The weirdos lose. And if more people begin to stand up for their own beliefs and their own opinions, because that's the freedom and the beauty of this country, you know, then then this mob will begin. They, they're going to die out and fade. This is, this, is, this is how you win without bending the knee. This is how you win uh, right here. This is how you win. So keep winning. Keep shining. I don't know. Whatever cliche you want to add. Keep smiling. I'll be on your side forevermore. That's what friends are for. <laughs> Thank you for watching the uh, worst low budget YouTube channel on the internet. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you really like it, hit the applause button. <laughs> I hope everyone's having a great December. Um, this is Jay with the Drunk 3PO channel. Almost at 12,000 subscribers. Unbelievable. You never thought this uh, silly little channel that just laughs at people online would uh, would have that. So I, I, I'm very humbled by it all. I'm very humbled. Very humbled of all the friendships and the people who watch. Whether 100 people watch, 1,000, it I'm, I'm okay, man. I am happy. And... Um, it's nothing but love nothing but love for all for all of you so but yeah this slowly turned into the gina carano channel for the month of november and december and we'll, we'll see what happens keep shining everyone keep smiling don't bend the knee and uh have a wonderful december i'll catch you next time